Someone's picking up a strange source of sound. No identification. Could be a pack of whales feeding on plankton, sir. Well, let's hear it. Take us down another 30 fathoms. Maneuvering, reduce speed to five knots, descend to 200 feet. 200 feet? Aye, sir. Control room. Yes, Admiral. What are we into? Uh, we haven't identified it yet. Oh, uh, how much water below us? 90 feet. All right, level off and come to a full stop. I'll meet you in the observation house. Aye, sir. Anything on the charts? There's no indication of anything I've known. Uh -huh. Well, perhaps, uh, perhaps this holds the answer. You know, what is it? I've been reading some old sea lore about these waters. 300 years ago, a fleet of British ships was destroyed in this area by a gigantic maelstrom. The survivors told of hearing a strange rock-like symphony coming up from the depths just before their ships were sucked down. Well, there's been a lot of tall sea tales like that one. No, I know, I know, but uh, there's often a hard core of fact buried in these old fables, you know? Captain, we're getting a pretty strange reading on sonar. Control report. Severe rupture in the stabilizer, sir. Reactor room circuits are out. How long for repairs? Looks like at least a three-hour job, sir. Sounds like it's coming from out there. Uh, clear the screen. Open collision screen. Aye, sir. Chief Sharkey, ready a diving party to go out on a search mission. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah. Hey, Rich. Bosky Richards getting a diving gear on the double. Hey, what's the poop? What's the poop? Is that the way you address a chief petty officer? Yeah, I'm only kidding, Sharkey. Now, Richards is a new man. Can't you tell him if there's anything special to this mission? Do you think he can't handle it? Well, I uh, don't know if he's ready for anything tricky. Well, he better be. You passed him on his frogman exam, didn't you? Oh, yeah, but what has what <laughs> that got to It's okay, Ski. I, uh, I'm ready for anything out there. Yeah, you hear that? He's ready to go. I, uh, 
But uh, this is his first trip, and he's still a little green. Well, the only way for him to shape up is for him to get out there and take whatever comes along. Chief's right, Ski. I, I got to get my feet wet sooner or later. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, come on, Sharky. Can't you tell us what the score is, huh? Well, Ski, when the captain gets here, he'll tell you what it's all about. Yeah, but I thought that maybe... Here. Getting a diving gear before he does get here, or you will be swabbing that deck for the rest of this trip. It, it looked like a caricature of a man made of, uh, made of stone, but uh, it, it could have been some kind of uh, uh, grotesque uh, marine growth. You uh, believe that? No. Captain, the special diving party is ready to take off. I'll be right there. Aye, sir. Okay, Ski. Thanks, Chief. You all right, Kowalski? Yes, sir. Richards? Kowalski, check them out, sir. Yes, sir. Top grade. All right. Now, I'm not sure, but it, uh, it may be rough out there. I can handle it, sir. Fine. Now, there are two things I want you to check on. First, the cause of this turbulence and any, uh, strange rock formation you might find. Strange rock formation, sir? How do you mean? Well, I'm sorry I can't be more specific, but, uh, we spotted something through the observation nose that looked like some kind of, uh, moving fossilized rock growth. I got it, sir. We, uh, report anything that looks like it doesn't belong there. That's the general idea. Now, you, uh, stay close to Kowalski and don't take any chances. Yes, sir. Okay, man, let's move out. The rod has been repaired. We should have full power shortly. Good, good. As soon as the reactor's back to normal, we'll uh, have a look around here. I'd, uh... I'd certainly like to know if I saw what I think I saw. <laughs> well, so would I be. You know, Seeg isn't necessarily believing, but... Uh, Captain, I'm... we're picking up those weird noises again. Bring up the sound, Patterson. Oh, it's the same as before, Admiral. Uh-huh. We're in for trouble. Now, hear this, all hands. Secure all loose gear. Brace yourselves for another tidal assault. You all right, Patterson? Yes, sir, just shaking up a bit. Sounds gongly. Maybe, uh... Damage control report. Fire in frame 74, sir. A detail is on its way. Very well. I'll be right there. Aye, aye, sir. Circuitry run. Uh, the master control panel goes. Seal off this section and flood it. There's another man in there. All right, ladies, come on. It's out, Chief. How the men? Oh, they swallowed some smoke, but they're both okay now. Boy, what a mess. How bad is it? Well. So the wires are shorted out. That's caused the smoke, but uh, luckily there's no serious fire. Is it operational? Could be in a couple of hours. Hey, Chief, put a detail on this panel. Aye, right, Skipper, I'll have it looking like new in a jiffy. Control room, calling the captain. 
Yes, Chip, what is it? Missile room reports one diver returning, one missing. We're on our way. Aye, sir. We were swimming along, keeping keeping close together, and all of a sudden, some giant bubbles hit us. I battled my way out and looked around for Richards, but he disappeared. No idea what happened to him? No, sir. He, he just disappeared. Maybe he panicked. It's his first mission, sir. Hmm. Do you think he lost his nerve? Not Richards, sir. I'd stake my life on it. Did you, did you hear anything? Any strange noises? Yes, sir. A clicking kind of noise, like... Like rocks hitting together. Did you see anything? No, sir. I swam around looking for Richards. I, I, I couldn't spot a thing. The turbulence had wrecked my radio, so I, I figured I'd better get back and report. Lee, well, get the flying sub ready for launch. Uh, I'm going out to look for Richards. Chief, you come with me. Aye, right, sir. Sir, I'd like to go back out again and look for Richards. Now, you better get back on duty, Kowalski. We'll take it from here. Aye, right, sir. Prepare the flying sub for immediate launch. And send out another diving party to look for Richards. Aye, sir. He's out there somewhere. Patterson. Captain, Richard's back. How is he? Doesn't look so good, sir. He's pretty beat up. All right, get him down to sick bay. I'll be right down. Aye, sir. Sparks, patch me through to the flying sub. CV to FS1. CV to FS1. Come in, please. What is it, Lee? Admiral, Richard is back aboard. Good. Good. Well, how is he? I'm going down to the sick bay now to check him out. All right, keep me informed. I'm going to have a look around out here. Aye, oh, sir. Chip, keep a close tab on the flying sub. We don't want to lose them now. Sure, sir. Well, I'm going to have another swing around. Uh, turn up the hydrophone full. located the source of the sound. It's coming from a cave. We're going in to explore. So track us all the way. Aye, aye, sir. We have you clear and sharp. Easy. Please. Take it easy. 
Just relax. Sounds like a white piece. Leave. You're gonna be all right. Leave. Leave. What's wrong with him? Uh, apparently, he's had some kind of terrible shock. Shock? Yes. All I can make out is that he was attacked by something weird. Monstrous. What's this? Now, Richard was clutching that in his hand when he was brought in here. It looks like uh, some kind of fossilized growth. We'll analyze it later. I better bring the Admiral up to date. Now, let me know when he wakes up. He may have some answers for us. I'll keep you informed, Captain. We're picking up speed. Strong underwater current. All engines are back full, but I still can't hold it. Turn on emergency power. It's jammed. I can't get it loose. Emergency power on, sir. What? At least. At least we're holding our own. How could you lose them, Patterson? I don't understand it, sir. One minute they were there, sharp and clear. And then nothing. Stay with them. They gotta be there somewhere. Something wrong? We lost contact with the Admiral. What happened? Don't know. Our tracking controls indicate the flying sub may have exploded. Sir, I, I'm, uh, I'm all muscle. Good, good. And right, you try to contact CV. I'll check the damage. Hi, sir. <laughs> FS1 calling CV. Come in, CV. Calling CV. Forget it, Chief. How about you? Not too bad. I think we'll not be able to get out of here. Yeah, but, uh, where are we? Looks like we're in some kind of an underwater grotto. Hey, let's, uh, let's break out the raft and see, huh? Come on. All right. <laughs> spot for a massacre. Uh, not much chance of survival around here. I don't, uh, I don't see a sign of anything edible. Sir? Look at this. Found it behind the rock. Hmm. Flint locker. About, uh, 17th century, I said. 300 years old. How did it get here? Well, the same way we did. I, uh, I didn't know it was, uh... It was loaded. That is one of the saddest phrases. Thanks, sir. How's Richards? He's still unconscious. Doc will call when he comes around. Somehow I've got the feeling that Richards is the key to whatever's happened to the Admiral. Hold it, 
chief. Might be able to talk to it. We're here as friends. You understand? Friends. Peace. We come in peace. Like talking about brick wall. It's no good, sir. How you feeling, buddy, huh? Doc said you had some kind of shock, but you're okay now, aren't you? Shock? Yeah, shock. shock. I'm fine. Leave me alone. Okay. Go away. Go away! Take it easy, you're gonna be all right. Hey, Doc. Well, you better take a look at Richards. Why? I checked him thoroughly before. Well, he's acting peculiar. Maybe he's got a fever or something. Sure, I'll check him in a minute or two. Thanks, Doc. I'll get back on duty. Uh, tell him I'll drop by to see him later. safe. They will not harm you while I am here. Let me introduce myself. Captain Jacob Wren of the submarine Troilus at your service. Well, I'm Admiral Nelson of the SS Cap Captain Wren. But the Troilus went down 30 years ago. Quite. I managed to survive thanks to the rock men. Well, just what are they, Captain? They were just like you and me about a quarter of a million years ago. You mean they were human? Indeed, before they were trapped here by a cataclysmic eruption. Strange forces from the magma deep in the Earth changed them into what you see now. Newtons. Exactly. As I am becoming, as you two will become, if you decide to stay with us. Uh... Thanks anyway, but uh, no thanks. Uh, uh, we got to get back to the ship, right, sir? Right. Wait. You have freedom of choice. Did we not allow the other one to return? Oh, you mean Richards? So he gave his name. Well, what did you do to him? Merely questioned him, Admiral. Our people are curious about many things, especially submarines that can travel to the surface. at a propitious moment. If you wish to know more about my fossil people, please be kind enough to accompany me. The hour of the ritual fire. The time when, in a manner of speaking, our people are born. Watch closely. We have been washing out the impurities of the human race. After this last immersion, he will be like the others.
will soon be impervious to the ills of the flesh. That is the gift I offer you, gentlemen, a fountain of youth. You plan to do that to us whether we want to or not, no. Why do you want it good? Why? Why, Admiral? Because I, Captain Jacob Wren, will lead my people back to Earth, to the promised land. We shall take over it as our heritage. I need your submarine, your men, your missiles. Well, you'll never get to see you. Admiral, your proud submarine lies helpless, defenseless out there, ready to be taken over at my command with all its sophisticated weaponry. Well, you... you can't fire those missiles. A firing procedure is a top secret. You know that, Wren. Of course, Admiral. And I also know that the complete operational data is safely tucked away in your cabin. Richards. Uh-huh. He's, he's like, like a mad now. Slow down, Steve. Who are you talking about? My buddy, sir. Richards. Well, what happened to him? I don't know, Skipper. He's just gone berserk. We better get to him before he breaks up the ship. Burke, take the con. Have you decided to join us, Admiral? Help us return to the surface? Well, you can't go back there now. You're all mutants. You die. No, Admiral. We are the strong ones, and I shall rule you all. You both will soon take your first dip in the Fountain of Life. I shall assemble the Council. <laughs> Sir, we gotta get out of here. I couldn't agree more, Chief. Richie? That is Richards? Take it easy. Come on, buddy. Let's go back to sick bay, huh? Sure. Come on. Go. Go quickly while you can. Come on, Rocky. Move out.
Can I do anything to help you, Skipper? I'm afraid he's past being helped, Kowalski. Now we've got to help ourselves before he destroys the ship. What about explosives? It's too dangerous. You got a portable force field. Right, sir. Stage could bless the sea view apart. We don't have much choice. Better hold the call. Okay. Try it, sir. System. Then we can shut them off. We don't have enough juice left. Will, will you try? Hurry it up, Chief. Okay, sir. Slick that. It's too much of a gamble, Lee. Those sound waves are still highly unstable. I know. But if we hit the right vibration level, it should knock him out. Now, put this over there on the tool chest. The wrong intensity could explode the hull. I know. But I'll bring it up very slowly and then just hope for the best. Come on. leading to the missile room. Avoid all corridors and missile room area. Dog the hatch, quick. Oh, I 
can't tell. Control room to captain. Control room to captain. This is the captain. We picked up the flying sub approaching berthing area, sir. Confirmed by radio contact. We'll be right there. Let's lock him in the storage room. Come on. Stand guard with the sonic machine. If there's any trouble, call me in the control room. Aye, right, sir. We thought you were lost. What happened? Later. How soon did we get underway? About half an hour. Maybe too late. Too late for what? It's a huge gutter of fossil men below us. They may not let us get underway. Fossils. Well, that's what Richards changed into. Something's happened to him. We know exactly what that something was, huh? I better hurry repairs before. Sounds like they got here already. Unless it's Richards. I better find out. Take the con chip. be aboard. Uh, the missile room, they could have gotten into the escape hatch. We'll seal off the corridor. Don't bother, Admiral. Kowalski, the sound machine. You see, Admiral, there is no escape for you now. This is what you shall now all become. chance to surrender peacefully. Offer refused. As you wish. Let's take him safe. How high is it, Tim? 90,000 decibels. Said that it's critical. It's 150,000 decibels, sir. You blow the ship apart. If you've seen that grotto. Oh, yes, sir. only begun, Admiral. To cure me? What makes you think I wish to be cured? This way I can become immortal. With Richard's help, I've set these missiles. They're programmed to destroy your country. Turn over the submarine or I'll fire them. Sounds like he means it. It does. I'm waiting for your answer, Admiral. What is your decision? I'll try to stall him. You try to get into the missile room through the air ducts. All right, now keep him busy. Maybe I can pull the teeth on those tanners. Kowalski, get back out of sight of that sound machine. All right, sir.
Your time is up, Admiral. I'm going to fire. Wait, wait. Um, if, if I agree, exactly what are your terms? Unconditional surrender. If you wish to be given your orders, you may come in here alone. Agreed. You will escort Richards to the control room and turn the operation of the sea view over to him. As soon as you shut down the timers. Not so fast, Admiral. Do as I ask first. But, uh, uh, Richards, uh, Richard Richards isn't qualified to operate the sea view. No further arguments, Admiral. Go. Nothing but death now, Admiral. Definitely, sir. I figured it would piss in this hatch. All right, sir. All right, sir. Ski, give me a hand. Missile. You disarmed the others. Where's Ren? He was standing right in front of the blast. I don't know how badly he got it. I am not alone, Admiral. The others are coming. They will follow me. Chief, prepare the Pegasus for immediate launch. I'm going to close that grotto forever. Aye, aye, sir. Then the pounding came, the terrible pounding, as if the heart of Satan himself was beating. An evil hymnal of the rocks as a band of devils sounded from the deep. And that's all. Mm. I suppose that's what it sounded like to the sailing men 300 years ago. You know something, Lee? They went too far wrong. Mm.